welcome back to my channel. Let's make these chewy, pillowy, two-ingredient bagels ASMR style. Guys, gadlala, gadlala, man. Anyway, the ingredients for this recipe will be listed in the description box. But did you guys know that self-raising flour is basically like a cup of flour and a tablespoon of baking powder? So if you don't have self-raising, just use that. And then obviously we use some cottage cheese. Low, fat, smooth is a favorite version of mine. And the reason why it came out so easy is because I let it come up to room temp. Also, you could 100% just use a bowl and a wooden spoon to mix all these ingredients so that they come up to like a shaggy kind of dough and then knead it out with your hands. I just prefer a mixer because I don't like to get my hands dirty as much. Just keep adding a little bit more flour at a time just to see that your dough doesn't stick to the side of the bowl or your hands. It really doesn't matter what it is that you're using. As you can see here, the dough has come away from the sides of the bowl and it is soft and springs back. Now, I do take it out and knead it with my hands a little bit. Please excuse the dogs in the background. I'm literally recording this at 12 a.m. in the morning. But yeah, there I am showing you guys again that it springs back, it's soft to the touch, and that's how you would want it. So let's go ahead into shaping our bagels so for equal bagels you will always cut it in half and then in half again and then in half again and then in half again as follows all right and now here i'm using um a technique i was taught a very long time ago on how to make sort of dinner rolls so anything any dough into a round ball um <clears throat> making using two hands takes a little bit of practice so you can definitely just use one hand no rush there then um you just poke a hole in the middle of the bagels and um here's a top tip i stretch out the hole in the middle a little bit because i do know that it tends to close up in the oven so yeah just keep that in mind just keep going <music> Once you are done shaping all of your bagels, you can put them onto a baking tray. I line mine with baking paper. Um, if you don't have, you could just use some baking spray. Please don't forget to egg wash your bagels. Don't milk wash them like I did. They come out very naked and very bare. So I am doing a makeshift all bagel seasoning. As you can see there, I did black pepper instead of peppercorns, a bit of salt, some dried garlic flakes, and some garlic, uh, some onion flakes, sorry, as well on the top there. And actually, the last thing is definitely sesame seeds. Now, guys, these actually turned out to be my favorite. I never thought I would like the all bagel seasoning, but it gave it a bit of a savory taste, which I super loved. And voila, there are the two ingredient bagels, period. I enjoy mine with more cottage cheese as a spread for extra protein. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you sweeties in the next one. Mwah.